Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for December 12th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the Six of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Cups energy. So, Virgos, you guys have been going through a lot of changes for yourselves, especially on a spiritual level. But nonetheless, you guys might be missing somebody here from the past. That you guys had a really great connection with, with the strength card, the death in reverse to the six of cups. So, because you guys had a really strong connection with this person, the connection would have came to a complete ending. But since then, this person's been thinking about you, reminiscing about you, feeling nostalgic, maybe more so like feeling sick to their stomach because of how much they honestly miss you. Mm -mm. Uh, Virgos, make sure you guys know what your energy is and what their energy is at the same time. If you guys are like missing this person out of the blue or you're thinking about them randomly out of nowhere, uh, make sure that you guys know that that's their energy, that they're thinking about you and you're just picking up on it because you're the high priestess. You guys have so much more abundance coming towards you with the Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Empress. They need you guys to get into your energy with the High Priestess to the Empress to start manifesting, to start believing in yourself so that way you guys can start creating but it looks like the unraveling of the truth is going to be coming in as well. Like, you guys already know the truth, but it seems like someone might be coming in and tell you the truth as well. Virgos, Ten of Cups, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wants a cycle to start turning with you guys, Virgos, especially if you guys got water in your chart or vice versa of you guys being the King of Swords to the Queen of Cups. So, nonetheless, Virgos, the Wheel of Fortune is going to be going up for you guys. So, whatever was going down... And that wasn't working out for you guys with the Nine of Swords to the Wheel of Fortune. It's saying that that Wheel of Fortune is going to start turning, excuse me. And then you guys get into the Queen of Cups, okay? So we'll bring you guys. So the way that you guys were with this person was like very playful, lots of fun. They made you feel good. You made them feel good. Everything was great. But that tower ended up having to come in. So there would have been either a breakup or you guys may have found out that this person cheated on you with somebody else. And so there's going to be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, a Gemini, who's going to be coming back for you guys, Virgos. This person wants to confess to you their feelings, especially after maybe you guys may have slept with this person. Also, Virgos. There's going to be some sort of confession that's going to be coming in into a workplace setting. This person is going to be kind of maybe more so telling you what's really going on behind the scene, telling you what's really happening. But you guys already know this already with the high priestess. Just because you don't talk about it doesn't mean you don't already know what's going on. The high priestess is a keeper of secrets. They know everybody's secrets. They know everything that's going on around them. They also know your secrets and everyone else's secrets and everyone else's bullshit too. They know everything. The high priestess, they know everything. You cannot hide nothing from a high priestess. They are the keeper of secrets. You tell this high priestess a secret, she's never going to speak or he's never going to speak ever again on it whatsoever. They're going to act like they know. They don't. Very loyal person, honestly. The high priestess to the empress, a very, very loyal person with the nine of cups. 100% loyal. Loyal to a fucking T. You guys have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Gemini, a Libra who wants to come towards you. They want to tell you what's been going on behind your back with the Three of Pentacles. There could have been people who are working behind you, Virgos, behind your back. And this person may have been sincere with you with the King of, with the Knight of Cups. Maybe you guys don't even know this person. Maybe this person just, you know, is behind the scenes at the end of the day and they weren't really fucking with you with the lovers in reverse. But they want to come towards you and tell you the truth and they want to balance everything out because they feel like maybe the people that are working behind you are doing unjust shit. Now, Virgos, if you guys broke up with somebody here, is that this water sign wants to come towards you, all right? They're going to confess something towards you here at the same time. Maybe this person's going to confess and tell you that they may have been cheating on you with somebody else. So be prepared. A lot of you guys may already know this energy is going to be coming in, or you guys can already hence uh, feel it at the end of the day, all right? Ah. This person here is talking a lot of shit, Virgos, with the Seven of Swords in reverse to the Four of Pentacles. Make sure you guys are protecting yourselves and protect your energy. Maybe grab yourselves some sort of tourmaline or whatever the case is. Whatever whatever the fuck what. Do whatever you guys want. Uh, Four of Wands, Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords. This person here, this Aries Leo Sagittarius is sitting here talking a whole lot of shit on you guys, Virgos. Four of Pentacles to the Emperor. This person is sitting there talking shit to an Aries. And they're saying that the angels are working behind the scene. These people are gonna these two people here are gonna be very, very regret. They they already fucked around with the five of cups, like with these three here. But Temperance is getting these two cups prepared to go boop the fuck by because it's Emperor to the Queen of Wands sit there and talk shit. And they're keeping you like they're they're keep they're trying to keep you like they're trying to 
keep you pressed with the four of pentacles but the thing about it is is that this also this aries leo sagittarius is also blocked from this aries too spiritually and energetically especially with the fact that the angels are sitting here being involved at the same time virgos if you guys were fucking around with an aries leo sagittarius that you guys thought that you guys can trust this person it's saying sure you can trust them but i don't trust them but do not trust them with your secrets do not trust them because they sit there and they talk a whole lot of shit Especially if this person's fucking around with maybe a Sagittarius or and also an Aries. Ah, yeah, Virgos. But there is going to be a, some sort of confession that's going to be coming in uh, in the workplace, which is going to be a tower for sure. You may just find this out randomly, like somebody's just going to randomly say something to you and you're just going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, Virgos, there's going to be a reunion between you and another individual here with the Judgment card to the Four of Swords. Some of you guys don't even want to see this person ever again with the Four of Swords because you guys are like, no, you guys have already been through this before. It's somebody from your past, of course, but you're more so getting your independency and you're really doing the best you guys can uh, on this day of 12-12 energy. So this person might be at a distance from you guys, Virgos, but they do want to come towards you also virgos you have a cancer pisces scorpio who sits here and watches you all the time it's saying that this person like somewhat supports you uh with the queen stars maybe this person's also uh, affiliated with the gemini libra aquarius to the king of pentacles too and then this one here they want this king of pentacles help but the king of pentacles is like no sorry i can't help you with anything page of pentacles in reverse this could be a work setting in this area here could definitely be a work energy where somebody with this page of cups sees you it's like international it's like work online right and then they got the queen of swords beside them with the king of pentacles so maybe this queen of swords wants to fuck around and hurt you guys in some sort of way but you guys being the high priestess you guys are well aware of it are already know are already in tune to it and they want the king of pentacles to help them in some sort of way but with the page of pentacles in reverse you're saying no sorry i cannot i can't also virgos you also have a gemini libra aquarius who's going to be coming towards you this person wants to apologize to you but after they apologize to you they want to do some sort of cutthroat kung fu type of shit onto you guys too so it's like they come in towards you so cute and so sweet and sincere but you know at the same time they're that's just a different demeanor they really are the queen of swords like they're very strong they're very blunt they're always sad depressed mourning Maybe a baby mother here too, but they're trying to get a uh, king of pentacles. They're saying that this king of pentacles will not fuck around with this queen of swords. They don't want them because this queen of swords may want them to help them out with money, but the page of pentacles may have already helped them out with finances and they do not want to help them anymore with financial, financial situations. So they may have had this person spend a lot of money. There's a cancer Pisces Scorpio who has come to the realization that them investing in you maybe through some sort of spell work because it is a betrayal with the eight of pentacles maybe this person tried to sacrifice you in some sort of way uh, it seems like all that energy that they put out towards you it's all being hit back onto them with the two of pentacles hangman eight of pentacles ten of swords they will get hurt for they're all really upset about it too like they're not somebody that you want to trust they are a player they're they are the type of person that will look at you in your face smile with smile with you and then behind your back they will fucking uh, hurt you the most right ten of swords um but nonetheless virgos this person needs to get their shit together and they need to start focusing on themselves because i do believe that this person's going through a lot of sadness a lot of depression a lot of bipolar type of shit they have maybe even having to go on medication with the king of cups in reverse ten of swords like they thought that maybe they were going to profit off by hurting you like they were going to get blessed but in turn they did not get blessed ten of swords they ended up fucking themselves up really really badly and that's because this person thought that they can go up against in divination but they got the enlightenment and realized what was going on to a pentacles in reverse so now this person's very very agitated very fucking annoyed they tried to sacrifice you but when they sacrificed you they really technically sacrificed themselves because just because you do a spell doesn't mean your spell is gonna fucking work so when you asking spirit to sacrifice somebody mm-hmm so they're putting up your they're putting you up <laughs> in exchange. So we're saying, okay, you can do that spell if you want to, but we're not guaranteeing you that anything's going to happen. So when it doesn't happen, make sure that you know that you will be the one to sacrifice yourself. And that's exactly what ended up happening, which is very, very scary and very fucked up. 
uh, with the King of Cups in reverse, you think that this person has some sort of intuition, but it looks like their intuition is all the way the fucked up. On the bottom of the deck, you guys got the Ten of Wands. These people are stressed out. They got burden upon burden. Like, it, it cannot be changed, and nor can it be fixed, and nor can it be harmonized in any way, shape, and form. These people ran under the moon energy with the Knight of Wands of the moon card. Like, they went and they grabbed their wand, and they're like, oh, we're going to fuck everybody up on this moon energy because it was the last full moon of the year. So, and it was the strongest one, and it was a cold one. So, I guess everybody wants them to be. These people want everyone to be cold and detached and alienated and hurt and filled with illusion and fear. Nah, Virgos. You guys have been in the Eight of Swords so many times in your life that when people do spell work to put you in the Eight of Swords, <laughs> it doesn't fucking phase you. The fact it immediately goes right back to them. It, it goes it goes directly back to their wand. <sighs> You're too strong, Virgos. Nobody can fucking fuck you up mentally and, and put anything into you. Like, it's not going to happen. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. That goes directly back to their wand, which will then turn into dangerous energy, Ace of Wands. This is, will be their karma because of them doing negative shit onto you. They thought that it was going to work out. Ten of Wands, sorry. That's a Ten of Wands. It's not going to get fixed, meaning whatever it is that you cast it on the full moon, on the full moon... Whatever it is that you've done, it's not going to prosper, one. And then the baggage that you're going to have to carry on your own is also going to be much more treacherous and much more heavier than your wand. You're carrying one wand. You should have just stuck with that one wand, brethren, because after you carry that one little tiny wand, you got ten more fucking wands. And all ten of these wands, you're going to have to carry them for a very long time, at least for the next eight years. All right? These people sat there and did ritual spells on you guys, Virgos. Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. They really did. These people went out of their way, did spiritual work on you guys, and tried to manifest a lot of stupid shit onto you guys. But it looks like you guys are so connected to divination that I don't really, you guys are, I don't see anything really fucking touching you at the end of the day. Um, also, Virgos, if this person here was fucking around, uh, if there was a Taurus, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who was fucking around with a three party situation, it's saying that this person here is all the way fucked up now because they realizing now with the Ace of Cups to the higher friend that they do want a relationship. They do want, actually want to be with you. And they're going to try the best to come back and fight for the relationship with the Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. They're going to do whatever they have to do to meet up with you guys again, all right? Maybe this person here, Virgos, with the Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. This is crazy. Somebody here seems, seems to be, like, incredibly fucking intimidated. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm picking up more so Capricorn energy. Could be running towards an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who might be a spiritual practitioner. And that's because this person is absolutely fucking terrified. I can, I can I see a Capricorn being absolutely petrified, like fucking petrified for dear life. And they're trying to be as cautious as they possibly can when they go towards this King of Wands. Because they're realizing now that they fucked around and they're getting absolutely hurt with the Knight of Swords. You can't do shit to people and think that you're not going to have to pay up the consequences of your actions. You have to pay for that. You must pay for that. So if you guys were probably in a good relationship with this person at one point, but maybe they fucked around a little bit too much and they tried to hurt you and harm you with magic, it's saying that this person here might try and come towards this king of wands to try and attack your money, to attack your business, to attack you, but it's saying that you being the hermit, you're already well aware of it. You act like you don't know. But you fucking know. Chariot card. And you got big, big angels. And you guys are going to be able to defeat this person. And it could, you know. It's crazy fucking energy, Virgos. At the end of the day, whatever. Also, Virgos, you guys have a Virgo, a Cancer, an Aquarius. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Who's going to be coming back towards you guys. This person wants to build a relationship with you guys at the same time. This person was very unsure and very undecisive of whatever it was that they, that they wanted with you. I'm not going to have enough time to finish the recording of this video, Virgos. So I will do a part two.